I'm starting to feel that my channel is slowly but surely turning into an unboxing series. <laughs> but here we have another large box from Amazon. And within this box is my, my dining table. Originally, I was going to do this after my trip, but it happened to arrive the day before I was supposed to leave. So I had a spurt of energy and I decided to assemble it so that I can come home to a completed or more completed apartment. Before landing on this table, I did do a good amount of research on different websites to try and find something that was used as I've said multiple times on this channel, that is my ultimate goal is to have upcycled furniture, but Again, in this case, the exact measurements that I needed and the style that I was going for proved to be difficult to find. So I ended up ordering online and I found this beautiful wooden table made out of real wood, no, no fake material. And it's the exact measurements that I needed that correlate with the bench and the size chairs that I received. So here I'm just unboxing there are the legs and i think it should be a pretty simple assembly the fact that i'm able to have an 84 inch couch and a dining table in this apartment is such an upgrade this is my fifth apartment in new york city and this is the first time that i've bought my own couch and the first time that i will have a dining table that four people can easily sit at I mean, I can fit up to six people with this table. This should be simple. Pretty much all we are doing is screwing in the legs. Here's everything we should need. Maybe for those who haven't lived in small spaces before, it's hard to imagine that being such an accomplishment, but I'm pretty proud of how far I've come in the past seven years of living in New York. It's kind of a big deal, especially when I do love having friends and family over. Like, for example, um, when I ran the New York City Marathon last year or this past November, all I wanted to do was to have my family over. I have a family of six. Um, I'm one of four kids and my parents, plus everyone's partners. I had to find a restaurant that we can all go to for dinner the night before. And I was just kind of upset that, you know, I pay so much rent to live in the city and I couldn't even have the flexibility or ability to host my family in my apartment because of the size. And here, that won't be a problem. I will be able to have everyone over and be able to make dinner or order dinner, whatever I'm feeling. Um, but it, it really means so much more than just ordering a table. It embodies why I decided to move, why even though it is such a pain to move in general, and especially in New York, and especially if you're single, doing all the work by yourself, um, it just shows why it's worth it in the end. Thank you for listening to that slight rant. Um, here I've placed the table and I'm really happy with the color and the quality of the table. I'm just inspecting it a little more closely. And then afterwards I took my handy dandy cloth and cleaning spray and just wiped down the surface of the table. Um, but I think the legs look very sleek, very modern. It is exactly what I wanted. I mean, again, ideally it would have been upcycled, but that's okay. I'm happy it's real wood. It is a good height for the bench. I think that anyone sitting here would be very comfortable, <laughs> including myself. So after the fact, I also received my dining chairs in the mail. So I'm on a roll. Here I am opening the box. And after doing some online searching, I again wanted to go for that earthy, more mid-century modern type look. Mid-century modern seems to be very trendy nowadays, but I've always had a liking towards this style. To me, it is very warm. It's very functional. 
And it just creates a space that is cozy, warm, and inviting, which is exactly what I'm always going for. So I got these off of Amazon. I had searched again on Facebook Marketplace at thrift stores. And even though I saw some promising things on Facebook Marketplace specifically, by the time I reached out, it was already sold. And when I looked closer, it seemed that some people were buying these chairs off of Amazon and branding them as vintage. And the way that I could tell was from the, the plastic buffers that you can see at the bottom of the chrome legs. So instead of spending money to go pick it up and go spend time, you know, traveling to pick up those chairs, I decided to order off of Amazon. And if you are interested in the table that I purchased, if you are interested in these chairs that I'm currently assembling, I have the links to these items in the video description. I will say that I am very pleased with both the quality of the table and of the chairs. Both of them did not take a long time at all to assemble. So when I was considering what I wanted my dining area to look like, I turn to Pinterest and I cannot recommend it enough for anyone who's looking for inspiration or ideas. All you have to do is just keyword search ideas that you're having and then up will populate all of these beautiful designs by all of these incredibly talented people from all around the world. So here are a few pictures that I referenced when I was doing my brainstorming. In this image, I love the wood tones. I love the natural earthy elements happening. I am a sucker for a, a great sconce. It's simple, it's clean, it's chic. Here is a similar vibe. I'm not sure how comfortable those chairs would be, but I just very much enjoy the color scheme happening. I love the giant statement art piece on the wall. If I saw that in someone's apartment, I would immediately go sit in that corner. I don't know what I would do. I would just sit there and be happy and be like, holy cow, this is beautiful. The seating is very much up my alley. It reminds me of the couch that I just purchased. I love the richness of the wood and the chairs and the table that were chosen. That dried flower centerpiece is stunning. Um, I will say that I am not a fan of that wall art and I am not a fan of the light fixture. For me, it feels too industrial. Um, and I like the idea of having a singular light source above a table and not a light fixture that has multiple bulbs, light bulbs at play. And lastly, this was just the most realistic reference for me. I loved all the images that I just showed you, but this one, I feel like I was able to replicate to my best ability when it came to the color tones, when it came to the functionality of the bench, having storage, and the fact that I'm planning to mount my cushions to the wall. So when I saw this, I felt reassured that my decision was a good one. Um, yeah, so now I just have to put my own together, but I loved all the inspiration that I got from Pinterest. This image in particular felt like a very attainable goal and that I could put my own spin on what this could be. So now that all of the pieces have arrived, we have the table and we have the two chairs, and now we have the bench. The next step that I'm going to do is to mount the panels on the wall. And I've decided to push it a little more towards the refrigerator because there is a power outlet right there. I have a feeling that I will be doing work from the space on my laptop. And if I'm working from this table, I will need a power source to charge my electronics. So right now we're going to mount the panels. I'm excited, it's gonna look really good. I included it in my last video, but below I will also link to the Etsy account um, where I bought these panels. They were perfect in size. I needed something that would match the bench exactly, and these do. The color is great for what I'm going for. Again, earthy tones. This is like a rust orange. The fabric, I think, complements the brick fireplace that's right next to it. 
Um, so yeah, here I'm about to mount, but of course, before I use any mounting material, I suggest always cleaning the surface. If there's little dust particles, you'll be surprised how big of an impact that will have, especially for these adhesive strips. Any dust or dirt will hinder the ability for the grip to really latch onto the wall. So here I am placing six different sticker sheets on the back of each panel. I tried to space it out in a way that was even, and then of course I measured it to make sure that I'm placing it in an even way. And once I put it onto the wall, I am putting my body pressure, all of my body weight to try and just really get, get this thing to stick. The worst situation would be to be sitting on it and it just falls off behind me or if a guest is sitting and it falls, I wanna avoid that at all costs. So the way that I do that is to set myself up for success, which is wiping the wall, adding the amount of stickers, measuring, adjusting, all that good stuff. So here I am mounting the second panel. And look at that, I think it looks so good. The colors just complement each other so well. You would think that I purchased this as a bundle, but I did not. Um, just a lot of research and a lot of hours scrolling online, but luckily it seemed to have all been worth the time and the effort. So after a little debate, I've decided that I'm going to keep it to just two panels. When I stacked it before, the proportions didn't feel right. I suppose what I envisioned was a more proportionate balance between the bench and the panels. The back paneling started to overpower the bench when I had two layers. So instead, I'm going to keep it to two. I think it looks sleek and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I'm going to try to resell those panels. And if I can, I'll just hold on to them for maybe a future use. Probably not in this apartment or who knows, maybe something will come up and I'll be like, I wish I had those panels and I will have them if I can't sell them. I'm very pleased with how this turned out. So we have storage in the bench, flush against the wall, and now we have a backrest. I positioned it in a way so that it sits on my lower back. I'm about five, seven, five, eight. So I think I'm a pretty average height. So this should sit just right for most people. I'm very happy. I think with this seating arrangement, I can do my work. I can have people over. I can have a dinner. I can just host. Now for the final reveal, I'm going to put the table back and put the chairs back. And here we have it. We have upgraded from a bistro seating setup to a four person dining table area. <laughs> I'm just testing out all of the seats here, imagining all of the meals and all of the conversations that will be held. It's exciting. Um, and then once I was in the zone, I also decided to move the pothos plant uh, off of the shelf and onto the fridge. I just kind of wanted to distract from that big gray blob. And I think having a plant there does just that. I think she looks so good in the daylight. The next thing I want to do is add some art to the wall. Originally, I was thinking a mirror, but I don't know. There's something weird about having a big mirror right above where someone is sitting. I don't want anyone to feel like the mirror is about to crash down on them. So instead I'm going to put a, not a gallery wall, but I suppose it's a gallery wall, it's multiple frames. One being big enough to hide the electrical panel right there, that big eyesore. I'll show you what I've gridded out on the floor. This is roughly what I am imagining these five frames above the bench. This frame being the biggest should cover the electrical panel perfectly. Um, and then it kind of descends a little bit and then grows back. All of this artwork has been collected throughout the years. I painted this in high school, senior year of high school. 
Uh, my old partner actually found this, I think off of Facebook Marketplace, I forget where he found it, but I still love it. Um, so that will also go up. This piece I got at a museum in Paris. My friend got this watercolor for me when she was on vacation. And this was a postcard that uh, was also gifted to me. I'm planning on putting nails in the wall, except for above this electrical panel, just because I'm not sure what wires are behind this. And God forbid I put a nail in and I get electrocuted. Nobody needs that. So I plan on putting an adhesive right above the lip of the panel. Um, and since the frame is on the heavier side, I plan on putting two side by side just for extra support. And I'll just pray that it holds properly. I had a lot of fun putting up this gallery wall. I feel like so far in this process of designing my new apartment, I've just put in so much mental capacity just really thinking through every decision, which I think is a good way to go about it. I'm not mad about my approach, but sometimes you can lose sight of having fun. And here, I think I was just having fun. I was just going with the flow, had the pencil in my hair. <laughs> uh, I was distracted throughout the day, so you'll see that the light changes. Here, the sun went down, so I had to turn on the overhead, but I decided to rearrange some of the frames. And then I realized that it was time to get ready. I was meeting my friend out for a drink. So all of a sudden you'll see me dressed up. <laughs> there is no time consistency here. I wanted to add one more frame because it felt incomplete. Uh, but then I remember I had a painting that my aunt painted and I've always loved this painting, but I've never had the right spot for it. And here it just felt right. So I put it up and yeah, I had to go. I had to like leave a minute later to go to the Lower East Side. I think a healthy mix of structure and spontaneity is a recipe for success. And I need to remember that when I sometimes get in my own head. But look at her, she looks beautiful. That about wraps it up. Thanks for coming guys. Sorry it was such a delay to get this up. I feel refreshed, I'm happy to be back in New York. And I'm excited to see what happens next with my apartment. I feel like I made such progress with the dining space. And I'm so curious to hear what you guys think. If you liked what I did, I'm also curious to hear how you decorate your living dining, dining area. <laughs> um, but I feel very happy and I feel that I've set myself up for success when it both comes to Hosting, dining, working, I think it's a very multifunctional space. And personally, I think it's pretty beautiful. So if you disagree, I'm curious to hear what you think. Uh, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, engage, comment below. Tell me your favorite part. Tell me how your day's going. Tell me if you disagree with any of the decisions that I've made. I mean, I'm happy with it, but I'm also always open ears and I'm always willing to learn and hear other people's opinions. Okay, anyway, love you guys. Thank you for being here and I will see you very soon. Bye.